Warren, uh, what was your assessment of, uh, of events this afternoon? Well, obviously the, the, the first one's a hard one to swallow. I didn't think we, we started particularly well. And they, they, they were the long balls that they were putting in. Second balls we didn't pick enough, but yeah, I think from looking at the, the TV, it's certainly not a penalty. Um, obviously puts your goal down um, at home when the lads are maybe anxious about things like that anyway, but I thought we showed a lot of courage the way we played up until half time. You know, I thought we were good value for the goal, you know, to go back in. Uh, on level terms at half time. Second half, I thought for 30, 30, 35 minutes, played some really good football, probably as good as we've played since I've been here and created numerous opportunities, but there's a lot of chances gone begging today, really. Um, that at 2 1, you know, you could have been 3 or 4, you could see, see the game off, and then, you know, a poor goal again. You know, if you look at the goal's basic mistake, really. You know, a knockdown so individual errors costing you, and then obviously the cruel ball is the last one in the last minute. You must be tearing your hair out there because you go all these games without scoring, you get two, and then you can see goals that you say, you know, you can't legislate for, can you? Well, I think I, I thought we were poor on second balls today, but if you look at, you know, near the end of the game, we've, we've not really got many centre midfield players on. It's just, you know, obviously injuries to. Perkins again today, and then McDonald the other day leaves you open in that area that we've not got a lot of cover, you know, in the in the squad. So as it happens, and as as the game went on, you you know you you're a bit unbalanced with the substitutions we've got or the options we've you know got to to change things. Um, but like you say, I, I thought at two one it looked like maybe three or four. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, if you get that third one, it gives you a bit of a cushion. But the thing that you've not got to be doing, not anxious at 2 2 sometimes as well, you've got to make sure you don't lose the games. Mm -hmm. Yannick you know, will. Oh, sorry, sorry, since I was just going to go on to Yannick. Well, Yannick's probably scored five or six, you know, even mm -hmm. at the end, it's like always looking a constant threat. So the message is all the disappointing thing is when you've got somebody on fire like that, you've got to give him the ball as many times as you can, mm -hmm. you know, as quickly as you can in good possession. How good was his second goal? Well, it, it was a great finish, um, you know, but there were several opportunities as well where. You're actually looking from the side, thinking the same. You know, you're waiting for the ball to hit the back of the net. You know, mm -hmm. um, th that was the plan that we looked to work on and, and highlighted something in their game. It's just disappointing we've not come away with three points today. I wanted to highlight Max Power. He's on a bit of a drought for goals. He couldn't have done much more today. The keeper was in inspired form against him. Yeah, a couple of worldly saves, you know, but there's other opportunities. Griggy's had a couple and there's been balls slid across the face where we've not even got contacts on. Um, Buckles obviously had one that you're waiting for the net to bulge as well. Stephen Warnock's volley looked like it was flying in, so... You know, on another day, you could have ended up with four or five goals today. Mm, do the conditions play the part at all, second half? Um, you can't make any excuse for the conditions the same for both sides. You know, just I think it's a bit of naivety, game management, and actually the structure of what we had on the pitch, you know, late in the game means that we've got a lot of lads accommodating and juggling around, playing out of position because, you know, that's basically what we've got, really. Now you've solved one problem of scoring goals. How do you react going into that crucial game on Boxing Day against Robin? It's no different than any other game. It's obviously, every game's a big game. You know, massively disappointed today. Dust ourselves down, come back in. The spirit's been great, considering you know the actual run we're on results-wise, but performance-wise, you know, again today, I think you can take periods out of it where we could have been better. But there was a lot of really good flowing football today, and a lot of good opportunities, a lot of chances created that on another day you could have scored four or five. I guess hoping go into going into the final couple of games of the year, you're hoping for some more numbers back. Yeah, obviously, you know, it's you know, you, you play a lot of games close together and, and we've got some lads that are a little bit older as well, so and heavy grounds it finds its toll. Um, all clubs get that, but you you're then looking at they've hit us in positions where we're vulnerable anyway.